You don't want to live forever? I definitely don't want to live forever. Um, I think it is important for us to die. How many years do you want to live? I don't know, a hundred good ones, and maybe a bit longer. I don't know that we should really try to live for a super long time. Most of the times people don't change their mind, they just die. And so if, if, they, if we live forever, then we might become a very ossified society where new ideas cannot succeed. How are you combating aging? Is there some secret technology we don't know about that you've got? You can basically do anything with synthetic RNA, DNA. With respect to healthcare, the real problem is not curing any one particular disease. It's actually that we have a, a natural age limit. A human being is essentially genetically programmed to die around age 80. And the, the cause of death will vary. Maybe that'll creep up to the sort of 85 for sure level. But that's, that's really it. We're close to saturation on lifespan. I think there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs on the medical front, particularly around synthetic mRNA. And decoding DNA, and then also writing DNA. What do you mean by that? Meaning you'd want to create synthetic organisms. I mean, DNA is basically firmware. Once you've read DNA, you figure out where's the error. You want to sort of write the, the corrective code. You can basically do it. You can turn someone into a freaking butterfly if you want with the right DNA sequence. Well, it's like a computer program. So with an effort that's not too crazy, you could probably stop aging, reverse it if you want. I think for sure getting rid of diseases or propensity to various diseases, that's going to be like the first thing that you'd want to edit out. It's like if you've got like a situation where you're definitely going to die of some kind of cancer at age 55, you'd prefer to have that edited out. Yeah, definitely. It's a really tricky subject with all sorts of moral issues. I mean, it certainly is a double-edged sword. Do you think about genetics and longevity and trying to end death? I'm not actually a huge proponent of longevity. I mean, I do think that having a good life for longer is better. You'd want to address the things that happen to you when you're older, like dementia and so forth. Th those are pretty important. But I'm not sure it's sort of actually, I want to get into the genetics thing, but it is something that's going to fundamentally change humanity along with AI. And so even if you solve, say, any one particular disease, you maybe slightly improve life expectancy, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. If we cured all cancer, the average lifespan would only increase by like two years. Do you think that starting a colony on Mars would kind of be a chance to start over and maybe do a little bit better? Or do you think it's a chance to copy what nature on Earth has already created for us? Yeah, I think it's quite likely that we'd want to bioengineer new organisms that are better suited to living on Mars. Humanity's kind of done that over time by sort of selective breeding. You know, cows didn't evolve in the wild. That's a very slow process, requires you know, hundreds of generations, whereas I think with actual bioengineering you could make that happen a lot faster, maybe with more precision. Ideally, long term, although this is a tricky subject, you'd want to write genetics. <laughs> might have some mutation or something like that. You might. Do you think you do? Probably. Do you wonder? Like, are you around normal people? You're like, hmm. Not bad for a human, but I think we will not be able to hold a candle to AI.